All right, what's up, folks, and welcome to a first look at PC Builder Simulator Part 2. So this music, I'm sorry, this game has really good music. Um, I was just sitting here doing some research, man, to see if this uh, is going to be a copyright violation with this, this soundtrack here on YouTube. And I can't find much in regards to if it is or if it isn't, but I have to imagine it. it's going to be, man. There's some really good music in this game. So unfortunately, guys, we have to... We have to turn it off because I can't take the risk of it being a copyright violation and not, you know, be able to have this this part of the game, or I'm sorry, this part of the episode, um, in the game here to be able to stream it. Because if it is a copyright violation, they're probably gonna have to mute this segment or this part where there is a violation. Which I mean, it's only only gonna be the intro, um, unless there is, you know, music in the game. I'm not exactly sure, guys. I never played this game before, so I don't have a clue what is going to happen when we actually open this up and play so enough about that guys we are just not going to have music right now um i'll do more research guys and if it is not a copyright violation which i really doubt that is not then we'll bring it right back and play some awesome music as you can see you can you can buy the official track here in the top right hand corner if you so like to do so or if you like this type of music so Enough about that. Guys, we play video games every single day on a PC, right? That's what we do. We stream games on a PC, on a gaming PC. Why not learn how to build them, you know? Let's just take a look and see what it takes to build a PC. I mean, it's I don't think it's as hard as it was 45 years ago where PCs were just huge a huge box of just craziness inside and you never wanted to see the inside of a pc back in the day because it wasn't pretty right it wasn't pretty at all now you show it off you show everything off when it comes to your pc so let's get back or not back but let's actually get into the game because i'm talking very quietly here because there's no freaking music man it's just crazy i hate having an intro or playing a game where it's just me talking and there's no background noise um oops i just hit the mic but anyways guys let's check it out man let's see what this game's all about so happy saturday oh, i'm sorry happy friday to you guys holy hell it's only friday I thought it was saturday happy friday man the weekend is here you guys can celebrate have fun enjoy relax and play some video games so welcome to pc builder or building simulator 2 there is a part one. I do have part one, um, but this is a free demo of part two. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's see how it is. Let's see if it's worth it getting. Uh, it's a new day in a new shop. It might not look like much, but it's all you have since the old one mysteriously burned down. How the hell did our shop burn down, man? That ain't cool. This ain't bad, though. I mean, if you think about it, this isn't horrible. I mean, I need some TLC, but that's every other game. <laughs> We play, dude. We always have to, like, redo things. Okay, so what am I doing here? Move to interact with Uncle Tim's note. All right, Tim. What's up, buddy? Uh, so I guess you've seen the old shop or what's left of it. Sorry, I wasn't there to take the edge off the shock. But I have got a meeting with the insurance company to discuss the fire. Apparently, they think it might have been deliberate. What? Somebody burned my shop down, bro. Like, what is going on, man? Uh, anyway, it is lucky I had the old place as a standby. I managed to rescue the PCs I was working on before the fire, and I moved them all here. You will still need to fix them and collect the money for the jobs. Uh, you guys can go ahead and read that if you want to. I'm not going to um, because it's a lot to us. So we're going to kind of skip it. I'll, I'll keep it up here for a second. Give me one second. I got to take care of something. Hang on. All right. So let's just bypass this. I mean, we, we kind of get the gist of it. There's a fire, obviously. So let's go ahead and just take a look around, man. Let's see what we have back here. Like I said, this is not a bad building. I mean, there's a lot of space. You got your back room to kind of look at, not look at things, but fix things. I mean, this is a good size, a good size building to have for any type of shop. And I really don't like how there's no effing music or, <laughs> or anything. It really sucks, man. All right, guys. So we have a... Um, we have some boxes here with some items in it. Let's go ahead and hit the OK. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. We did get a delivery. So, all right. We got the GeForce RTX 3080. Uh, let's not ask how Uncle Tim managed to get a hold of one of these. You guys are probably thinking 3080 freaking for real, dude. Like, that is like old school bullshit right there. Come on now. 3080. Ugh, graphics must be horrible. But 
probably when this game was actually released, 30, 80, 80 was probably like really high, high end, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, for a graphics card, but I don't know. Who knows? Uh, it should be somewhere in a corridor. This is where PCs and cases are delivered and where you need to place your PCs to return them to the customers. Gotcha. All right. Can we clean up a little bit, dude? Because this is like pigsty, man. It's a nasty here. What is this box doing? Let's go ahead and pick this up and, uh, oh my gosh, we, we did. We or we took it out of the box. I'm not exactly sure how we did that. So, let's go ahead and place this right over here, I think. There we go. Fixing a PC. This PC needs to be fixed. Left click on a PC's case to put it into build mode. All right, let's go ahead and build or put it into build mode. Let's take a picture real quick of our first. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. We cannot take a picture. This is an epic game. Uh, you have to do something different for screenshots, and I don't play a lot of epic games. I'm not exactly sure what we have to do to get a freaking picture, but it is okay, guys. It's not the end of the world. So, yeah, we definitely need to do some, like, cleaning first before we start building PCs. Like, I'm going to have a customer coming in, pick up their PC, and it's going to look like this. Are you serious? We can't be having our, our place of business look like this i mean what would you guys do if you guys went to a store to get your pc fixed you walk in it looks like this it could be a, it could be a really credible store right it could be a really a really good store but it looks like garbage i don't know i wouldn't want this like i would be afraid there'd be shit inside my pc like a dead mouse or something who knows but anyways guys let's go ahead and take care of this let's figure this out well not my bad set it back there so, okay, so remove the side panel. Let's go ahead and remove the side panel. Let's get the screws there. We're going to go ahead and unscrew it. We have four screws total. My PC has two in real life, which is nice. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, I think it has two. Yeah, it's on the back. <laughs> Anyways, all right, this PC is missing a GPU. Thankfully, you just had a very good one delivered. Let's install it and rebuild the PC. All right, let's go ahead and remove the case back here. We have two little screws. Hopefully, we don't lose any screws. That would be no good. We're going to remove the PCI holder. Remove the other, or more screws. Remove the other PCI holder. We're just going to keep removing screws and PCI holders and everything else. All right, so here is everything we have. We have CPUs. We have processors, CPU cooling, motherboards, memory, graphics cards, storage, power supplies, cables, case fans, and removed components okay left click the category so we need to go over to what so here's like here's a graphic card it is a rtx 3080 not bad for you know 2000 and i don't know 21 22 <laughs> whatever 380s were relevant uh memory motherboard so we do we need to select anything we need a cpu right is this what we need it's not giving me an option how do we get out of here like i want to get out of this screen i guess i cannot do that we got to select this okay we're gonna go on we're gonna go ahead and insert this man we're gonna we're gonna stick it right in guys there we go looking good not bad not bad at all all right left click the install button and there we go what else do we need can we just uh we got to click everything just to see what we need uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Are we putting this back on? I think we are. I thought we we're going to install a GPU. I don't I don't see us doing that yet. I see us installing a, a graphics card, but maybe we'll install a GPU later. Not exactly sure. I mean, all right. So we're going to left click. Left click on a cable connector on your newly installed graphics card. Okay. We're going to left click that. And left click on a cable connector on your newly installed graphics card. Okay. We're going to do all kinds of left clicking, people. All kinds of left clicking. Left click on a cable connector on your newly installed graphics card. How many times do we have to left click shit? All right. Maybe we put the GPU in. I just saw something down there for GPU. All right. We're going to go over here now and let's put back on the side panel, guys, which is, has four little screws. This was a pretty easy job, man. Pretty easy job. Now, we do have to test it, right? We got to test it, man. Make sure this thing is working. And if it doesn't, that is not good. There is no, no, no worse feeling in the world, guys, when you... When you can't figure out, like with my PC, my, my PC broke for a while, dude, and I could not figure it out for the life of me. It took me forever to even get things figured out, and I never did actually figure it out. What I, what I did was I brought it to a damn computer shop. So there's no worse feeling than not being able to figure out how to fix your computer, taking it to a shop just to have them work on it and say it's fixed and it not really being fixed. That shit is like, the freaking worst that didn't happen with me my computer guys are freaking amazing dude like 
They are phenomenal. If I have, have, have any issues with any of my computers, I will definitely take them to these guys 100%, man. 100%. Crash Masters here in my town were freaking phenomenal. Anyways, enough about that. So, what are we doing now? We're going to what? We're, uh, we're rotating the camera. Not exactly sure. Left click to, to exit. Okay, well, we got we to gotta exit. All right, so we're all done. Our PC is ready to go. Let's go ahead and carry to the workstation. Let's hopefully not drop it. Are we going to set it down here? Is this our PC? It must be. Are we going to test it? Turn on the PC. Okay, so P for power. All right, folks, we got some kind of life. That's good. That's good. Look at the picture of our cat. Hell yeah. That's We call that cat tiger or something. I don't know. So left click the monitor. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, so this is our computer. We just it, we just built our own ourselves our own little computer. So double click for email. Uh, welcome to your email. This is where all your jobs, messages, and offers will arrive. Check out ev check it out every day for new jobs and keep on top of your business. When emails arrive, they go here. Left click to take a look. So we do have six emails, guys. Six emails. We have a lot here. So uh, select email from this person. Let's go ahead and select it. Uh, my name is Kids, and I am an urban whatever. I am currently working on an ambitious project about procedure. Why you got so many big ass words, man? What do you need done? <laughs> like, in layman terms, what the hell do you need? All right. Uh, your PC is in danger, and I need my PC to be, to be painted completely red. Am I, what the shiznit? Am I a painter? Like, wait, what? I I guess get does that is that real guys do like you take your PC to a PC builder or a crash master place and they they can paint your PC I I don't know maybe I don't know if I want to paint myself but whatever all right so we accepted you can view accepted jobs uh, by clicking this folder so we have five we have the miss little paint it red rainbow lights that's legitimate. Uh, whipping the CPU into shape, obviously legit. And my GPU needs water cooling. Okay, so can we, uh, let's see. Left click to have a look at this job. All right, what is this job? I went to get my PC fixed at your shop, but found only an empty space and a pleasantly smoky aroma. I gather that you are no, are no danger in business at that address. A passing firefighter did tell me that you were opening a new workshop nearby, so I thought I'd drop you an email to see if you are still taking repair jobs. My computer has been very slow lately, and I fear it might have a virus of some sort. Could you please take a look and sort it out for me? Absolutely, buddy. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and let's go to the PC. Oh, here it is. All right. We have his box right here. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this and see what is going on. Let's go over to our shop. What's up, plant? It's a very, very beautiful plant. Hopefully, it does not die like my other building did. All right. Good. Where, where are we going? Where's my workbench? Oh, here it is. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. All right, let's go and throw it down there or set it down, whichever comes first, right? And enter the workbench. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this. The customer wants any viruses removed from their PC. You'll need to use a USB stick loaded with virus removal software. Luckily, you have one in your inventory. Hell yeah, that's absolutely lucky. All right, let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. Uh, can't do that yet. We have to do this. Remove components. We're gonna go up to tools and grab our USB that has all the antiviruses on here somehow, which is freaking phenomenal. Hold left on the USB mouse cable. And let's go ahead and plug it in there. All right, and go and plug it back here. We can move this a little bit, guys, so you can see what I'm doing to make it more, I guess, realistic. We're gonna plug that up there. And last but not least, the main power down below to get some, uh, some power onto this PC. All right, uh, left click on the power and left click on the power. All right, I, I did, oh, P, we got P to turn it on. We got a fan going right here, guys. So this is kind of like an old school PC, man. You can't really see anything inside here. Okay, so we are plugged in, guys. We are ready to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on here. Left, 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 holy lefts. Left click the monitor. <laughs> I was looking at something when I was trying to talk, man. I got completely sidetracked. All right, double click to open the ads slash remove programs. We're going to go ahead and double click this, guys. The virus scanner. Let's go ahead and scan for viruses. See exactly what we got going on here, man. See what this dude is working with. Probably looking at some pornography, some nasty shit like that. Midget porn. Who freaking knows? All right, double click to open the virus scanner app. Okay. 
double click and there we go let's go ahead and start scanning man let's scan and see what this guy has going on hopefully it's nothing too serious all right corrupted files we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean those up a little bit hey we have minus 15 dollars we are freaking living the dream man living the high life right all done great job this job is complete hell yes left click exit so do we go back in i mean i guess yeah we did do the scan uh place in the workshop area so we got to unplug everything right i would assume oh wait this is gonna exit that's it okay so you have removed all the viruses and the pcs ready to be returned to the client pick up the pc with right click and place it in the order okay we we just magically unplugged everything hell yes that's what we do guys we are a magical person let's go ahead and set it right down here guys set it right up here in front there we go and go to your email and hit collect so we can get some money dude because we have minus 15 dollars man we are not uh we're not doing well when it comes to the money department this was a 120 dollar job just to basically plug in a usb um or thumbstick basically into the USB port and hit the scan for viruses and clean the viruses. That's a pretty easy gig, bro. But you have to look at the bigger picture. How much did those programs cost, right? This virus programs, they're not free typically. Some are. Some are some are free. But they're not very good. Uh, anyways. So I wanna paint. <laughs> can, I, can I paint that damn computer? Uh, are we done? Are we just gonna, are we doing it? Let's just do this one. Let's just do this one. Paint the case red. So what do we have to do? Open inventory. Let's go ahead and hit the I button, guys. So here is our compressed air. I seen. A, I saw a TikTok video. I don't know if it's true or not, but some dude was trying to uh, blow out his computer, his actual, like, uh, desktop. And it was still plugged in. It was still running, and he was blowing, like, the fan or blowing something in his computer, and it freaking caught on fire, bro. Like, it literally caught on fire not good okay so there is our inventory are, are we on our own like we can do anything now let's go back here guys let's see if we have anything back here we we don't tim's red hot repairs is that is that my name is that my name in my store tim's red hot repairs sounds really really weird so uh pc is in transit so pc status ready to boot oh well, we're here. We're at a different PC. I don't <laughs> what the hell. I didn't even know this was this was a customer's PC. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. All right. Welcome to the lighting app. The lighting app allows you to create great effects on customers' PCs for the job the customer wants. The lights set to rainbow with a walk effect. So let's get started. Okay. Let's do this. This is a this is a cool PC. You know, it's, it's open. It has got the uh, decent front there. Not bad. I'm digging the white. You know, it looks clean. Looks sick. Okay, so set the lights. We're going to go to the monitor here, guys. We're going to go over to the app here. And this is actually legit, man. If you all have never done this to your own PCs, you can do this. You can set the, the different color lights. I'm sure most of you know this because we're gamers here, man. Um, if you don't, yeah, you can you can download a program. You can set your, your colors to your PC, your keyboard, your mouse, whatever you want to do. Your RAM. I mean, wherever you have colors in your PC, you can, you can do this, this exact thing that we're going to do right here so we could turn everything off maybe i don't know maybe not maybe not all right let's go ahead and left click left click uh select all there we go we're selecting everything so he wants rainbow color hmm he wants rainbow there we go and walk okay so make sure to take the pc back to the delivery area i do i want to see it though and there is his rainbow color with walk. Uh, I don't know what the hell walk means, but it just does this. <laughs> Here is the uh, design. So let's see how much money we get for this one, guys. This one looks pretty, pretty legit. Let's go ahead and save that. And we can go ahead and back out of here. We can back out of there. Let's go ahead and grab his PC and bring it over. We're not going to remove anything. Let's grab that bad boy and bring it over to our area so he can come by and pick it up at some point. But, again, guys, I understand the customers are not going to come back to this particular area. But they are, at some point, going to... Where is the front of our store? They're going to come up here, and we still look like garbage. We still look like a freaking junkyard simulator, man. We cannot be having our place look like this. So, hopefully, at some point in time, guys, we do get the chance to actually clean up. Um, but, yeah, so this game's pretty legit, man. This is uh, basically all this game is. You're just fixing PCs and... You know, I know 
uh, PC builder simulator part one, you had to like pay bills or something like that, pay rent or whatever it was. So maybe that might be in this game as well. So 220 bucks, guys. Like we are looking, looking pretty good. We have 325. That ain't bad, dude. At Tim's Hot Repair Shop. Yeah, we got a nice little area to you know take a have a picnic or you know meet some friends, enjoy the weather. I wish I can go outside and kind of like explore, explore this place and see what's going on outside of my building. But I, I'm basically stuck in here like a prisoner but we are going to probably end the episode here guys i'm going to take a look and see if these these songs here are a copyright violation on youtube because i would love to listen to the soundtrack as we do play this game but unfortunately i do have the feeling that it is going to be a copyright violation but maybe not if you guys know man leave me a comment let me know if we can play these games i'm sorry these music or play the music as we play this game that would be freaking legit if we could but if we can't, it's just going to be uh, silent. So, yeah, if you want to know how to build a PC, this game is pretty accurate, man. Just like PC Builder uh, Part 1. This is the demo version. The full version of this game is already out. You can go ahead and buy if you would like. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I think it's out, actually. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm not sure why I said that. I know Part 1 is. I, I didn't even, I didn't do any research to see if this full version's out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is, because you can buy it. Scratch it. You can buy it. You can go over to... You can go over to, uh, let's go ahead and save this real quick. Let's go and do that. Yes, we're going to save. Let's go back to the main menu. That's fine. We already saved this. Yeah, you can definitely buy this game, I believe. Let me, don't quote me on this. Uh, buy on Epic Store. So, yeah, there you go. You can buy if you want to. But here you go. That's all it is, man. It is a uh, pretty fun game, but we'll dive into the music part later on in life and figure out what we can do about that. And hopefully we can actually listen to some good songs as we build and repair PC. So with that being said, folks, hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will see you next time.